Hello and welcome. Today it's me, Josh, and I'm joined here by Leo for today's Zaletto Daily 5. We're going to bring you three different ball skills, a ball manipulation, a turn, and a beat the man move. Um, said I'll be showing Leo little ways to do it and a little breakdown of it. Leo's going to be doing lots of practice and working hard for us. So we're going to start with the boxing soul roll, which is a ball manipulation move. And lots of you might have heard of the boxing. Um, and the boxing, we're just going to tap from toe to toe. So for boxing, we're just doing this. Okay, from inside to inside, from both feet, like that. And then for a boxing soul roll, if we can, we're going to do two touches like that, followed by a soul roll. So it's one, two, soul roll. One, two, soul roll. One, two, soul roll. Again, starting nice and slow. Once you get in the hang of it, it's then trying to speed it up and go a little bit quicker. Okay, ready? Off you go. Good. Lovely, good. Great control. Very good, Leo. Well done. Said, and the more you practice this, the easier it gets. The more you practice it, the faster it gets. Very quick feet from Leo here. So keep going. Turn around, come back this way. So again, this one can be done on the spot, or you might find yourself going slightly forward. One more go at that one. Good. Very good. And again, nice and controlled. Using the sole of your foot, your left foot, and your right foot. So lots of different areas of your feet to use. Good young man, well done. Great stuff. Okay, and hold there. Very good, well done. Okay, we're gonna go into our Cruyff turn. So this one's a turn by the legend Cruyff, Johan. Okay, and this one we're gonna move towards whichever direction we're going. So we're gonna dribble forwards. Again, I would have a check of the shoulder entirely up to you. If you wanna add a check of the shoulder, then we're gonna make it look like we're gonna pass or shoot. So it looks like I'm gonna pass or shoot in one direction. For that, I bring my arm up as well, go past the ball, then I'm gonna use the inside of my big toe to hook it backwards. So it's here, make it look like I'm gonna pass or shoot, and then flick it back. Make sense? Okay, give that a try, off you go. Yeah, very good. Nice, well done. Again, always try and work on both feet if you can. Leo here is nice and comfortable, which is good. Great stuff, Leo, well done. Good, can you exaggerate that fake pass or shot beforehand? So maybe using your arm, brilliant, there we go, good, well done. Good, really exaggerate as if you're gonna pass or shoot. Good, well done. Again, really important you try to practice with both feet. Really look at the quality again, if you need to slow it down, get the technique right. Once you get that, like Leo here, you'll start moving into it nice and quick. Sooner or later, you'll be using it in games and you won't even realize. Good, last two. Very good, well done. Go on in, last two, very quick. You go real fast for the last two. So going in slow, come back out fast, good. A nice exit touch allows you to accelerate. Last one. Good, then come out nice and quick. Good, well done, good, okay. Okay, moving on to our beat the man move. Now for this one, it's the Messi sidestep. And Messi's obviously doing the rounds at the moment. Rightly deserved World Cup winner. Okay, um, but let's like say we're gonna move into one of his signature moves, which is his side steps. So pretty straightforward. We're gonna to step to one side of the ball like any side step. So I'm gonna make it look like I'm gonna go this direction by stepping next to the ball, bending my knee, dropping my shoulder, makes it look like I'm going there. And then I'm just gonna bring it across with the inside of my foot and go forward. Now, it doesn't have to have an extra touch there. So I quite often find that I do a la croquette on the end of it. But from here, you're going into it and then we're just dragging it across, okay? Again, if you want to add in that extra touch, so once you've done your side step there and then push it forward, you can do as well. Okay, give that a try. Good. And again, really important, we try and sell the fake, so we're really making it look like we're gonna go one side before we come out the other side. Yeah, good, well done. And again, always helps with these beat the man moves. Go in slow, initially you're in control of the situation. Go in slow, try and come out nice and fast and explosive. The more fast and explosive we come out, the less chance the defender's gonna catch us. Good. Nice, good acceleration too. There we go, well done. Again, great stuff working on both feet. Good, well done. It's really selling it. We're going in there. No, we're not, we're coming back out over here. Good, well done. Nice. Really trying to trick that defender. Make the fender move one way so we can explode out the opposite direction. Good. 
Yeah. Last two. Nice and explosive as well. Good. Let's go. Well done. We're okay? Yeah. Okay, going into juggling. We're going to have a juggling break, so just for a moment, we're going to juggle off of both feet. But my challenge this time is how can you start it from the ground? So you might start it by the simple flick up like this, entirely up to you. Or you might decide that you're going to do something slightly different. I don't know, it might be a rainbow flick to get started. It might be that you push it back from one foot onto the other. What different ways can you come up with to get the ball from the floor into your keepy uppies? Off you go. Nice, good. Yeah, try anything you like. Good try, nice. And again, challenge for you viewers at home. Um, which different ways can you think of getting the ball from the floor up into your feet for keepy uppies? Rather than picking it up, can you come up with something creative just like Leo's done here? I'm sure we might see some more in a moment. Anything you like, can you get the ball from the floor into your keepy uppies without using your hands? Yep, good, nice. Great stuff. Done. See if we can keep it in the area. Keep yourself going. Well done. Good. Keep going. Good. Can you try anything new? How's, how's your rainbow flick? There we go. Ah, oh, I love it. Very good. Showing off now. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, nice. Very good. Challenge, can you do that one at home? <laughs> okay, we'll stop there, Leo. So we're gonna go into the next three. The next three for us, um, we, well, the three we've done, sorry, we're gonna combine them. We're gonna join them all together in a little combination move. So we're gonna go with the box and soul roll, as we were doing earlier, box and soul rolls. Okay, Cruyff turn here, then into a messy side step. Okay, can you come up with your free combination? Doesn't have to be in that order, whatever you decide. Off you go. Good, so box and soul roll, Cruyff turn, messy side step. Good, well done. Off you go. Now another little challenge when you're trying to combine these is can you do it without any extra touches in between? So you're going from box and soul roll, directly into your Cruyff turn, directly into your messy side step without any extra touches needed. So here, box and soul roll, good, straight into a Cruyff and then into your messy side step, very good. Great demonstrations from Leo here as well. So, but if you need to, if you're not finding it a little bit tricky, don't be afraid to slow it down, get the technique right. You can always speed it up when you need to, okay? Then the last 10 seconds, we're gonna really go for it, Leo. So as fast as you can now, 10 seconds, off we go. Good, keep those feet moving, good. There we go, Cruyff. Box and soul rolls, good. Good, Cruyff, well done. There's a the side step, good. Five. Four, three, two, one, and hold there. Well done. Top work. Well done, Leo. Well done, great stuff, young man. And keep, put, keep on following, guys. Hope you enjoyed watching. Can you do a progression of the Cruyff turn? So moving the Cruyff turn into a McGeady spin. So as we've done the Cruyff here, other leg's gonna come round and the outside of that leg's gonna take it away. It's called McGeady spin, but you might also remember a Roberto Firmino used this very effectively once. Okay, but it's going into the Cruyff turn, turn your other leg and then spin it to the outside. So it becomes a McGeady spin. Okay, good luck practicing. See you all soon. <laughs>